Hello, my name is Walter, and I'm doing a trailer reaction for you guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, without further wasting any more time, let's go. I haven't watched this trailer, so don't know what to look for. And uh, it's Spider-Man, so, you know. That is, that is badass, though. She got wet. That's what he said. <laughs> I mean... What does that even mean, man? And no, obviously not. Cause here comes Birdman. Why is Confident playing? Really? Childish Gambino? Why not an angel? Like Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> Bye! Is that it? Uh, there's a little bit more, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's all. 7717. Seven, I like the number that they chose. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, looks pretty decent, I would say. Look guys, I am not a good person to ask because I like the second one. To be honest with you, like the second reiteration of Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man, that means, you know, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, that was on point for me. Uh, you know, I, st I still have a soft spot in my heart for the Tobey Maguire one because I grew up with that one. Uh, I, you know, I enjoyed the third one a little bit, you know, even though it was stupid, you know, and I grew up and I said, yeah, it's pretty stupid, but you know what, Spider-Man is supposed to be kind of, you know, funny, goofy, whatever. Anyway, um, okay, my major gripe in this one is that, uh, Tony Stark is making his suit for him, so that is something very, very, very very hurtful to me because like if there's one thing I know about Spider-Man is he made his own suit and he made his own like web shooter and everything like he did it in high school he perfected it in like when he was going to college and everything because you know uh, things grow and everything so uh, yeah but that's just me and uh, you know it's supposed to be that kind of reflection of like Spider-Man and Tony Stark because you know Spider-Man loves to make stuff and you know Tony Stark is more of the billionaire and he can buy his shit but uh, you know people who can make stuff is generally more like cooler in a way because like they can make stuff um, <laughs> Not an ego stroke, I assure you. Uh, but anyway, I think that this just shows that uh, Sony can compromise when it wants to, uh, because uh, well, it's it's more of the Sony still because like it's all those Sony stuff in there that I feel is still there. Uh, because um, you know it, it kind of feels like there's still Sony's fingerprint on it somehow 
and I don't really mind that, you know. Uh, there's still Marvel stuff, you know. Uh, there's still Tony Stark, you know, telling Peter to maybe not be a big hero, just you know, be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I never got that, but now I'm just thinking about him. Like, yeah, I guess so. He can just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I guess. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just tired of the Spider-Man reboot. Stop stop rebooting this if this doesn't work it doesn't work anymore sorry guys i'm not gonna watch any more spider-man if there's any more spider-man reboots i will try my best to follow this this spider-man because it, it looks pretty okay it looks pretty good um obviously the major gripe in the last one i mean the amazing spider-man was that uh you know peter parker was not a high school student and then now in this one the biggest gripe is that I me mean, is a little bit too young but you know what I, I don't care like just get it right I don't really care if it's not done like I don't care if like certain people's ages are wrong I just care that some of this stuff like Peter suit is not Peter suit it's Tony suit given to Peter to wear so that's just my opinions and if you guys <laughs> if you guys think differently you always can please tell me if i'm wrong or shout at me in the comments if i'm wrong but uh, yeah that's about it guys and i'll see you in the next video see you then